How do you handle knowing you will die someday? Can't avert it. Only delay it. So may as well live gently and enjoy the beauty of existence. Try not to overthink it. There's not a lot you can do about the end. All you can do is try to lower the chances of it happening sooner rather than later. Eat good food. Do some exercise and try not to stress yourself out too much. Personally I don't think I'm afraid to die. I just hope I live a life full of stories to be shared smiley face. I don't. I don't handle it well. I gotta say. Think about it almost every day. Do I want to live every day to the fullest or do I want to build something? Leave some kind of legacy? If I live short-sightedly, I might have it hard later in life. If I live for the long haul, I might just die in the process. Leave nothing anyway and have lived a rushed and pointless life. Nothing scares me like the thought of dying young and have all my tears and stress over grades have been for nothing. Gratefully. Bring it on. Impatiently. Ain't bothered. Death is either a curse or a blessing. According to my family's dementia history, it will probably be a blessing. I'm not afraid of death and the reason is I can learn what happens after it. Don't give a shit yet. Well, there's a lot of beauty in knowing that everything is just temporary. So no matter how hard you are hurting, you know that it's just gonna be irrelevant someday. Depression. Welcome. What kept you so long? Relieved face. Everyone dies. It is the most natural part of life nowadays. With grace. Whenever I do something embarrassing or start stressing about life too much I remember it doesn't really matter. Hurry up and smite me down already God. I try to think of it as returning to the way things were before I came to be. Nothing that happened before me bothered me then. And everything that happens after won't bother me either. Like the dreamless stretches of sleep. Whenever the existential dread starts to set in and I start wishing immortality could be a thing. I then ask myself if I want to be around for the sun to become a red giant or for the eventual heat. Death of the universe. And the answer is always no. It all sounds so uncomfortable. My fleshy little body just isn't built for all that. It's one of those things that can't be changed. We just have to try to accept it. In the meantime, I try to appreciate as much of life as possible. Give and feel as much love as I can. Be thankful for the good things. I kinda hate the whole, live laugh love, mantra. But honestly it's how I'm trying to do life despite myself. I get excited and hope it comes soon. Better than knowing my cats and dogs will die one day. The same way I handle waiting in line at a water slide. With a little anxiety and trepidation but also excitement. I'm not really afraid of death so much as how I die. I don't want to die painfully. Sadly, many of us go out very painfully. Like if I get diagnosed with late-stage cancer. I'm not treating that shit. I'm just gonna travel somewhere pretty and take a lot of drugs until I die. Can't fucking wait. I won't experience it. I'll only experience life. Just enjoy life and have nothing to be sad, worried about. Do whatever makes you thrilled. And die with no regrets. 
contingency plans for when that special day comes. Shit happens. A lot of shit happened before I was born. A lot of shit is going to happen after I die. What are ya gonna do? There is nothing to handle. It's like saying how do you handle knowing that the earth spins around the sun. Better do shit now. It's not just me who's going to die. It's all of us. I'm in good company lol. But seriously. I handle it by understanding that energy cannot be created or destroyed. And that all the stuff that makes up my body and brain doesn't actually end. It just dissipates. Like a drop returning to the ocean. But really, even while we're alive, we're the ocean all along. We are the ocean pretending to be a separate drop of water. It comforts me that there's an abyss of unconsciousness instead of an abyss of working. Uncertainty and decision making. So what? So will everyone else. Well, I try to live my life as filled with the Holy Spirit as I can. It's the only experience that everyone has or will go through so there's no thought on a guarantee. Pretty well I feel. I'm overall aiming to be like the third brother in Harry Potter's Deathly Hallows. Evading death for a very long time and then greeting it as an old friend. Death occurs so life may too. I'm okay with having my time to shine then stepping aside so others may live.